Good morning and thank you for joining us for the Senior Award Ceremony for the Class of 2021. I'd like to thank Ms. Brogdon and Mr. Hulin for making this opportunity available to everybody, especially under these, circum these circumstances. Additionally, a thank you to the families, teachers, support staff, and students for the successes we are here to celebrate today. We are continuously surrounded by those who care about the future of our students here at Coloma. This is proof that with care, concern, and relentlessness, great things can and will continue to happen for our students, no matter what situation we are presented with. We know that there are many outstanding scholarships yet to be awarded, and that many of our seniors have sought funding support from a variety of sources, all of which we may not announce today. We are excited to announce the following scholarships that have been made known to the school, and we celebrate all seniors who have worked hard to find their own way to pursue a higher education. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you our school counselor, Ms. Brogdon. All right, first off, congratulations to all of you, not only for working hard to pursue secondary education, but for putting in the time and effort to make college more affordable for you and your families. Applying for scholarships and navigating financial aid offices can be time consuming and challenging, and your ability to navigate this process clearly demonstrates that you are ready for the next steps. This year, Coloma High School seniors have accepted over $375,000 in scholarship funds with the total number of awarded dollars nearly two and a half times that amount. 46% of this year's senior class is TIP eligible, which the, is the equivalent of two years of free college tuition. And over 20% of our seniors have accepted additional financial aid packages, ranging from a few thousand per year to four years of full tuition. The class of 2021 has set an excellent example for future classes to see that attending college is a financial possibility for all Coloma students who wish to go to college. At this time, I have the exciting honor of announcing for the first time this year, a little surprise, our winners from the Berrien Community Foundation Awards. The class of 2021 was acknowledged by the foundation for submitting significantly more applications to the foundation than in previous years, and five of our students have won foundation scholarships. You can stay seated right now as I call your name and you will receive your certificate when we go through the individual awards. So first off, we have the Welch family of Betna Harbor scholarship in the amount of $1,000, which goes to Karan Smith. We also have the DeGroot Family Scholarship, which is in the amount of $3,000 to the following students. Karis Lemoyne, Kimberly Spaulding, Kayla Walter, and Ashley Little. And finally, one additional DeGroot Family Scholarship in the amount of $2,000 goes to Karan Smith. So congratulations on winning these foundation awards. You will be contacted by the foundation in the coming weeks, but we are honored to be able to announce this surprise this morning. Next up, we have a few winners for our local Coloma High School scholarships. Again, you can stay seated and you'll receive your certificate when we go through the individual awards. First up, we have the Paul Ravitch Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 which is awarded to the very deserving Noah Schwanke. Second, the Coloma Education Association is proud to announce two awards this year, each in the amount of $250 to students who are pursuing a career in education. This year's winners are Ashley Little and Peyton Jackson. So congratulations to those local scholarship winners. Before we move into announcing the rest of our individual scholarships, I would like to invite to the podium Miss Wendy Goodline to introduce this year's athletic awards. Good morning. All right, we give three main athletic award awards at the end of every school year. We have a male athlete of the year, a female athlete of the year, and the Neil Peters Athletic Award. That award is a combination of athleticism and, uh, and academics combined. So this year we will begin with the male athlete. This year's male athlete is a two sport varsity athlete. He lettered in football for two years and basketball for three years. And our winner this year is Drew Goodline. 
Drew will receive a individual plaque with his name on it and then his name is engraved on a plaque that hangs in the hallway in the gymnasium. Our female athlete of the year is a three sport varsity athlete. She lettered in cross country, she lettered in girls basketball, and she lettered in girls soccer. So our female winner is Abigail Vandermolen. <laughs> Abby also will receive a plaque and her name on the plaque in the gymnasium. Then we have our Neil Peters academic athlete. This athlete, let's see, what did this athlete do? Um, in the fall, this athlete played volleyball. In the winter, she bowled. And in the spring, she ran track. Our Neil Peters Award winner is Madison McQuillan. <laughs> Maddie also will receive an individual plaque and her name on the plaque in the gymnasium. Congratulations, you three. I'm Taryn Blazier. I'm going to LMC this fall, and I won the winter circle scholarship. I'm Drew Goodline. I'm going to Huntington University. I got the Dean Scholarship Award and also a Men's Basketball Scholarship Award. Also, I'm the Male Athlete of the Year at Coloma High School. I'm Peyton Jackson, and I'm going to Western, and I won the Coloma Education Association Scholarship. I'm Kaylee Jewell. I am attending Lake Michigan College, and I've received the LMC Presidential Scholar Award and LMC Winner Circle. Hi, I'm Marissa Legro. I'm going to Hope College and I received the Hope College Presidential Scholar Award. Hi, my name is Kara Samoyne and I have a Big B Scholarship and the DeGroote Family Scholarship. Hi, my name is Ashley Little. I'm attending Michigan State University and I got the Coloma Education Association Scholarship and the DeGroote Family Scholarship. Hi, I'm Madison McQuillan and I re received the Neil Peters Academic Athlete Award. Hi, I'm Kylie Moore and I'll be attending Michigan State University and I received the Gupta Value Scholarship. My name's Nick Meyer, I won the Winter Circle and I'm going to LMC this fall. Hi, my name is Evelina, I'm going to Western Michigan University and there I got uh, the MLK Gold Scholarship. Hi, I'm Mariah Plyer, I will be attending LMC and I got the LMC Winter Circle Scholarship. I'm Ben Reynolds, I'm going to the University of Michigan Flint and I was given the Hale Scholarship. I'm Noah Schwenke. I'll be attending Concordia University of Ann Arbor, and I won the Rabbit's Award. I'm Kayla Smith. I will be attending LMC, and I got the Board of Trustees and Winter Circle Scholarship Award. I'm Karan Smith. I will be attending the University of Michigan, and I got the Welch Family Scholarship and the DeGroote Family Scholarship. Hi, I'm Kimberly Spaulding. I'm going to Michigan State in the fall, and I've received the Honor Credit Union Scholarship and the DeGroote Family Scholarship for being out. Hi, I'm Bailey Swisher. I'm attending SMC and I got the Roadrunner Scholarship. Hi, I'm Abigail Vandermolen. I got the Presidential Scholarship and the Communion Scholarship from LMC. I'm also the Female Athlete of the Year. Hi, I'm Kayla Walter. I'm going to Grand Valley State University and I've been awarded the Grand Valley Lakers Scholarship, the Thompson Family Working Scholarship, and the DeGroote Family Scholarship, as well as the Live Like Glory Scholarship. Hi, I'm Gracie Whitaker. I'll be going to Grand Valley State University and I got the Grand Valley Lakers Scholarship.